Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Okay, I know I said I wouldn't talk about Logan Paul on my channel, but so much attention is being drawn to him that I kind of feel like I need to say what my opinion is. So, as probably a lot of you know, Logan Paul uploaded a video recently of him going into a uh, forest in Japan, which is well known for people committing suicide, and he recorded his reaction to him and his gang finding a dead body in the forest. The reason this video has caused so much heat on the internet is because he acted completely the wrong way. Everyone's saying he should have turned off the camera straight away as soon as he found the body, which is completely true, I agree with that. But instead, he just went straight up to it. He, I think one of his friends said, turn the cameras on, and then they started walking over to it, and they did close-ups, and all they did was blur the face out. The video got about 6 million views, and I think it got around 600,000 likes, which in my opinion is just messed up, because why would 600,000 people like seeing a dead body? He said, leave a like if you feel sad in the video, and he's just taking advantage of this guy who's killed himself and using it to his own advantage to get likes. It's just really disgusting and untasteful. Another thing that happened was YouTube put it on trending. It was number 10 on trending and YouTube picks what goes on trending so a lot of people are annoyed at YouTube as well. To be fair I'm a bit confused myself because I don't know why YouTube would pick for a video like that to be on trending and why they would want to promote something like that. Especially how early on in the year PewDiePie got really damaged for something that he did. In my opinion Logan Paul's, what, what Logan Paul is doing is so much worse so I don't know why YouTube are promoting them but yeah. However, after the video was taken down by Logan Paul, he uploaded a apology on Twitter and along with a video. The apology said, that's probably the first apology I've seen on Twitter that has an emoji in it, along with a hashtag. So he, after this, he posted a video on Twitter and YouTube saying how he's sorry and personally, I'm a bit unsure. I can't tell if he just did this whole thing for views and he knows exactly what he's doing or if he's just being stupid kid. I really I can't tell. Okay, in the apology video he says that all the reactions were raw and unfiltered and that they didn't know how to react. So what we came across that day in the woods was obviously unplanned and the reactions you saw on tape were raw, they were unfiltered. Uh, none of us knew how to react. How to feel, but I, it's just stupid because he should have just taken the camera down straight away anyway. Like, why would you carry on filming? And other YouTubers have pointed out he's not a professional. He does not know what he's talking about. People are going to watch this, which do have suicidal thoughts, because you know he has got a massive audience. So people are going to watch it who do have su suicidal thoughts and listen to him. But he does not have a clue what he's on about. He's not a professional. Okay, personally, I think that the video should have never been uploaded, and if it did, they should have just cut the camera straight away as soon as they saw the guy in the forest. Okay, so after Logan Paul posted that video, he then posted on his Twitter and said, taking time to reflect, no vlog for now, see you soon. And I do think that's the right thing for him to do, because everyone is just so mad at him right now, he does need to take some time off and I think he needs to take some time off for himself to actually see what's right you know if he carries on like this he's gonna end up doing something even worse and that will get his channel taken down all in all I don't think Logan Paul should get his channel taken down because people are trying to sign petitions and make videos and just do all sorts to try and get Logan Paul's channel to be taken off YouTube I don't think this will happen unless he does something 10 times worse. I think YouTube really likes him because he pulls in so many views each day. And I just don't I don't think he should be punished that badly because I've been doing YouTube for like what like not even a month and it is really hard work. You know, he must put in so much work. I'm not saying what he did was right. I just don't think he should be his channel should be taken down. I am really annoyed at YouTube for picking his video to go on trending because I don't think that's right at all. This was just a short video saying what I think on the whole Logan Paul situation. I wasn't going to do a video about it originally, 
but it's just got so blown up and everyone's getting mad about it. People that aren't even interested in YouTube, they're talking about it and getting really mad about it, so I just thought I'd say my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you agree on some of the stuff I think. See you in the next one.